Hello everyone, this video is on my recent The Bathing Garden de-stash haul. There are two de-stashes in this haul and they are both from two different sellers. Alright, so I just went ahead and combined um, all the goodies. So there are, you know, some clams, um, but there are also some like different shapes. So I just combined everything, um, including the extra goodies that I got um, in both of these de-stashes. Um, so thank you so very much to both of the sellers. If they are watching this, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very sweet of you. Um, yeah, so let's hop into this good stuff. So the first extra that I got in this haul is in Fairy Hearth. This is a not new to me scent from them. And it's a really nice, um, like fireplace, woodsy, smoky scent that's a little sweet. Um, next is Wildberry Frosted Cake. Oh, that's a new to me scent from them. And this is in a really cute, like, drizzled marshmallow shape. Oh, that is yummy. I mean, it smells exactly as named, like a Wildberry Cake. That is delicious smelling. Okay. And then we have Who Stole My Tarts? <laughs> This is a not new to me set from them. Oh yeah. This is like a very like apple potpourri type of scent. Very, very strong. Um, next is Marzipan Chocolate Birthday. I think this is a not new to me set from them. I think I recently got this as an extra in a previous D-Stash too. Yeah. Oh, and this is very like... This one, um, I feel is very heavy on the chocolate. Like usually I don't like marzipan scents, uh, because they come off, um, a little almondy to me, but this one, because of the chocolate in there, it's just so strong on chocolate. It mostly just smells like a chocolate cake, which is delicious. Um, next is Magical Doors, which, oh, they wrote this in description in here. Love that. Lemon iced tea with hints of sumac, sweet lavender, and apples. Love that. And it's in this really pretty teardrop shape. And this is a not new to me scent from them. This is a really nice um, springy floral sweet scent. It's very pretty too. Look out, look at that. That is gorgeous. I love that. I mean, this is one of her um, like spring scents anyway, but it is it does. It smells like a spring scent. It's very pretty. Um, next is Agave Watermelon. This is a not new to me scent from them. This is a wonderful scent. I love this. Like, I know so many people that, like, raved about this scent when it came out this year. It is so good. Mmm. It is so good. It's a, like, a fresh, juicy watermelon, which is, like, a hint of something else that makes it, like, more tropical. Love it. Um, next we have another Who Sold My Tarts. And then we have Bright Berry Whip. I think mean, this is a new to me scent from them. Oh, yeah. I mean, it kind of smells like... It smells a little bit like Rockstar from Lush. There's, like, maybe something else to it. Um, and then we have Luscious Peach Limoncello. And this is... A not new to me scent from them. This is a really nice peach scent. It's very, very sweet. Um, it's not exactly like peach ringy sweet, or that peach rings gummy sweet, but it is a very sweet, um, like candied peach scent. How pretty. All right, now hopping on to the other goodies in this order. Um, so yeah, I got some clams and I got some various other shapes. So we're gonna go with the various other shapes next. Um, there are two shapes from one of the 2G stashes in this order that I'm not sure that came as extras or not. Cause I don't remember, I'm pretty sure these are both um, CYOG stashes too, like create your own G stashes. Um, but I don't remember um, picking these. I probably did, though. 
So anyway, but I'm going to show those two first just in case. Um, the first one of those is in Pixie Bubbles. And it's really beautiful flower cake shape. Um, this is a not new to me scent from them. Oh, what does this smell like? I know this smells like something from Lush. And it's going to drive me bonkers. Mm, what is that? Oh, that thing's really fizzy. Like, it's a little, it's a little minty, like a spearminty type of scent. Oh, man, I've been driving crazy. Um, next is Mango Marshmallow Pop. I absolutely love this scent. I am just, oh, it's so good. It's such a different, unique mango scent. Mm, it's so yummy. And how stinking cute can we possibly be? Oh, I love it. I love it so much. It's such a fresh, sweet, juicy mango tropically scent. I love it. Um, and then we have a lavender rose, which um, the seller wrote on here too, so that's awesome. Lavender gelato with effervescent candied rose, and this is a new to me scent from them. Oh, it's in a uh, really pretty flower bunch shape too. Oh, that is so good. That is very good. It's a beautiful, sweet rose with her herbal lavender goodness. Oh. I love that. Look how beautiful. Mm. Oh, that was good. I love it. Okay. And then we have apple and Earl Grey tea cake. I need to be sent from them. Oh, my goodness. The embed on here is ridiculously adorable. This is a new to me sent from them. Oh, that is very nice. Oh, that is such a nice, sweet, relaxing, fresh tea scent. And the apple isn't like overpoweringly. It blends in really nice. Look at that in bed. It's a teapot. I mean, how, how stinking cute is that? Oh, that's adorable. That is so cute. Okay. All right, and then we have Lime Flamingo Punch. And this is a non to me set from them. Mm, so good. It's a very tropically um, punch scent. But like way more heavy on the lime. Very good and very sweet. Okay. Almost like a margarita scent, but not salty and more fruity. Um, next is marshmallow or mango marshmallow pop. Again, love this scent. Absolutely obsessed with it. I'm going to request that um, when she comes out with her summer goodies from now on, that she does um, this scent in some Bath and Body Care products. If the um, fragrance oils are. Um, body care safe. Love, love that scent so much. Um, and then we have orange lemonade slush or slushy. This is a very, very delicious scent. And I know this is a non to me scent, uh, for them, but I know that y'all are like, well, that's, you're probably just being biased because it's an orange scent and you're like obsessed with oranges, <coughs> which may very well be true, but this is a very good orange scent. Mm, it's so good. It's sweet, very nice and orange sweetness. Almost like a hint of creaminess to it too, but it's so very fresh. Mm. Yum, 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 love that. Okay, now let's hop on into the clams in this tea stash. Um, the first one of those is in Magical Doors. This is a non to me scent from them. I love it. It's such a unique scent. It's sweet. Like it's very sweet. And I mean, it, this one is difficult to explain because it's so unique. But 
bit sweet, a little fruity. There's like a little deepness to it. It's amazing. I love it. Next is Tropical Fairy Garden. And this is a technically not new to me scent from them. Um, I received this scent in a previous recent de-stash. I just haven't melted it yet. Um, but I do really like it. It's a very tropical uh, fruit scent. That's like in a garden. <laughs> very lovely. Um, next is Lemon Tea Party. And this is a not new to me scent from them. It's been a while since I've had it though. Oh, that is so good. It's a really nice creamy little tart lemon scent with just like maybe like the slightest hint of tea. Mm, very good. Okay. And then we have red apple strawberry. I need to me scent from them. Hmm. I do not smell either of those scents on gold. Maybe a little apple? Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. That is a very interesting scent. That's hard to make out and describe. Um, the next one is Fairy Kisses, and this is a new to me scent from them. Oh, that is good. Good. Mm, that smells good. I like that a lot. It's like a, I don't know why. I'm thinking of a pink fruit, but it smells like a tart pink fruit. Oh, that is really good. It's sweet. It's sweet and tart. Very fruity. I love it. Oh my goodness, I love that. Mm -mm. Um, next is Comet Cupcake, which is a not new to me scent from them. I believe this is a blueberry blend, maybe a blueberry cake or blueberry cobbler blend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is good, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is super good. It's uh, definitely blueberry. Uh, very good blueberry, though. Um, I know sometimes I complain about blueberry scents uh, because sometimes they're just, like, overly, like, candied sweet where it's, like, like hurt your teeth and not in a fun way, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but this one is very good blueberry. It's really nice. It's yummy. It is sweet, but it's not like crazy. Um, next is Carnival Junkie. A not new to me set from them. Mm, this is good. This is, um, I believe this is a blue raspberry blend. I can't remember what else is in this scent though, or in this blend right now off the top of my head, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a blue raspberry blend and it is so good. Okay. And then we have Lavender Starlight and this is a new to me scent from them. Ooh, oh my goodness, that is good. What is that? Oh, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. It is herbal lavender, which I love. And there's something else in there that is going to bug me. I'm going to have to ask her. Oh, that is so beautiful. That is a gorgeous lavender scent. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Um, next is Strawberry Flush, which is a new to me scent from them. Oh, well, this smells just like the, um, like those, like, hard red, like, strawberry candies that are in the really cute strawberry wrappers. This smells exactly like that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. And then we have Butterflies and Toadstools, which is one of my favorite scents from the bathing garden. It is, um, oh, so... This seller wrote on a couple of the clams. Awesome, thank you so much. <laughs> um, so this is pomegranate, berry, vanilla, candy, sweet orange, and hints of sandalwood. So yeah, this scent is very, very sweet, very fruity. 
very yummy love it love it love it very spring um next is bring me frost um and it says on here cover yourself in frost with the smell of fresh snow ozone and frozen air new to be sent from them oh yeah that is a very nice Christmassy, wintry type of scent mm -hmm. it's like pepperminty christmas tree like fresh airy <laughs> type of scent very nice okay um, next is rosy red rosewood. Um, rosewood blended with cedarwood, apple, and rose jelly. And this is a not new to me scent from them. Oh my goodness, baby girl. Oh, oh, I love this though. I haven't received it in a clam before, but um, this clam is gorgeous. I mean, as like all of her like products are just absolutely beautiful. But this one is like a surprise. <laughs> And a really nice one. Oh, this is beautiful. This is such a nice rose scent. I do like a lot of her rose scents. Typically, I don't like um, the other vendors. Like some of them, I just find them like overpoweringly rosy because rose is such a dominant um, scent note. Um, and then like it's kind of almost headache inducing because it's so strong but i do find a lot of the bathing gardens roses are blended so nicely with other things or if they're just like one fragrance oil it's like a nice um like nicely blended into that fragrance oil and this is very nice one this is a sweet rose not like um what is it not like her rose glaze scent which is like her do for luscious rose jam but um it still is sweet and this one is a little bit more powdery but look at this how gorgeous is that oh my goodness you see like when I had it like this I could only see that part and I was like what is that oh so pretty all right um next we have mirrored cherry bubblegum and this is a new to me set from them. Hmm. Okay. Like, I was a little like, is this going to be like Jew Jerry? But it really does. It smells like, it smells like cherry bubble gum. That's so good. I like that a lot. Okay. And then we have Great Grape Waffle Cone. And this is a non me set from them. This one smells basically to me like um, grape taffy, which is amazing and so delicious. Like it almost is like a hint bit of like mouth watering. Mm, yummy. And then we have red wildwood jam, and this is a new to me set from them. Hmm. This one kind of smells a little floral. Yeah, maybe a little rosy too. I mean, it could be power suggestion, especially since I just smelled the rose one, the other rose one in this one, in this deuce, or haul. But it does, it smells a little floral, maybe rosy. Very, very sweet, very sweet scent. That is so pretty. Okay. And then we have lacquered lollipops, which is black currant, citrus, cypress, musk, and ginger. And this is a technically not new to me scent from them because I received this in a recent previous D stash, but I haven't melted it yet. Um, but to me, this smells like, um, like black licorice, but like a lot sweeter. And then the last item in this haul is in Take Me to the Sea. Um, which is a not new to me scent from them. This is lemon, grapefruit, sea salt, windy sea air, and then blended with beechwood and light floral. And mostly on warm and on cold, I just get like a salty sea air scent to it. But I will say on cold, um, it does get like a hint bit of citrus goodness to it. Um, but I will say like her salty sea air is, um, is nice. Like 
a lot of CLTC errors I kind of find to be almost obnoxious for the most part. Um, and for the most part, everybody's, like all vendors, CLTC error fragrance oils are basically the same. Um, but hers, I don't know. There's just something to it. I don't know, maybe her ratio is just different, but hers, I like more. Um, anyway, that is everything for my most recent two-in-one The Bathing Garden D-Stash haul. Um, so thank you so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.